Hello and welcome to the Windows Active Directory Expert. Your expert is again here to teach you or to help you for the domain join issue as I promised in the previous sessions, right guys? So let me show you the graph first, okay? And then I'll uh, open my domain controllers and uh, the uh, server domain or uh, server machine to uh, help you with the domain join issue. So in the previous session, uh, I this server 2008 R2 was my additional domain controller. So just for the demonstration purpose, I demoted this server 2008 R2 machine. It was a graceful remote. But uh, I promised you to show the metadata cleanup as well. If in case your server itself is dead, okay? I mean, due to hardware issue or something, your server is dead. And in what in those scenario, how would you be able to clear the metadata of the or the object details that another domain controller still has, and they still report the error in the wrap admin space slash ripple sum so remember just take a screenshot of this uh, command it is very important command so this command is basically pull the entire domain controller replication information okay so there are other commands as well which i would be covering in the replication sessions okay so what I'm going to do is now I got the same uh, lab today to demonstrate you. So uh, I have this server 2008 R2 today. So server 2008 R2, which is my client, I would say a server which is in work group and the another domain controller machine which i have that is on server 2012 r2 so what i'm going to do is like in the server 2008 r2 i will try to join this machine with the domain which is the contoso.com so if i'll mention over here is contoso.com so this is my forest contoso.com so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the server 2008 R2 machine to the server 2012 R2 and to reproduce the problem I would be putting the wrong password and then I'll bring you to the debug label analysis and the troubleshooting. So hope you understood. So let me jump into the server. So this is my Windows Server 2012 which is the single domain controller in my environment at the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to going to switch to the server 2008 r2 and let me try to log in this machine real quick so this machine is currently in a work group it's not in a domain it's not a domain join so how would you identify that so click on the start button, go to computer, right click here, go, go to properties. And uh, so here the system, system informations will appear on the screen. So here you have not only the domain join, but other information is also available over, over here, like the system configuration, like what type of uh, processor you have how many ram you have allocated for this particular machine type of operating system and if you go to the computer name domain and work group setting you can see the computer name is win adc01 computer full name is same as the computer name and the computer description the work group is in this machine is in work group so to join with the domain controller you click on the change settings here you got the option and once you click on the change setting 
on the computer name itself click on change so here you can say you can see the computer name the domain the work group so if you wanted to change the computer name then you can type in the computer name and then click on ok so it will change the computer name from here from this option so currently we are not interested to change the domain controller name we are interested to join this machine to the domain controller so type here contoso.com so as soon as you type your domain controller name and click on ok so it will pop up you the credential screen okay so here you have to type the credential which is having the domain join privilege okay so type the domain administrator account so type in the password so let me do one thing just to reproduce the problem okay i'm going to type some bad password over here let's wait okay so here i got the error which says the unknown username or bad password so the error could be any right but what is what we are concerned over here to understand or how we could do the debug label troubleshooting so suppose you got some xyz error over here while joining this machine to the domain controller so what you need to do what you need to do now is like click start go to computer go to c drive so there is by default logging which is available in every windows microsoft windows just keep in mind so go to windows and check for debug so better you take a screenshot click on debug and here you find the net setup okay so click on net setup go all the way down <clears throat> okay so here you can see so net pdc get dc name return 0x0 and return 1 3 to 6 okay and the error the domain join error which are, which we are getting is 0x52e okay so how would you identify whether what is the what is the issue over here for while while joining this machine to the domain controller all right so here fail to find a dc having account this okay perfect so we are interested to go with this domain join issue domain join join error okay so copy that go to google type in the same error and go to all and look for the domain join issue so open any one of them and look for the error so here you can see i got 1326 error as well on the above of this error okay if you see somewhere look this look this error 1326 1326 means this is bad credential okay so this is the bad credential so you pick the error in the bottom of the uh, debug i mean in the bottom of the log right always refer the bottom bottom of this sheet okay you would be able to see the appropriate error so here net join domain status connecting to dc got 0x52e but net join domain dns domain ds function exist with status of this and if you go to an above line which is net use add to this server this is my domain controller and ipc dollar return 1326 which is the bad credential so you can the same way you can check for the appropriate error in the net state net setup uh, you know 
file and go in the Google and search for that appropriate meaning of that particular error, right? This is not something uh, easy for you to remember each and every error in your brain, right? This is so, this is so tough. So the best part is like you check for the error over here, go to Google, type in the meaning of that particular error that you're getting and then accordingly you take appropriate approach to resolve that particular issue. So now we understood like there is something misspelled or there's something wrong with the credential. So what we will do, we'll close this, we'll again close this, we'll click on the OK because we did it in intentionally, right? We did this intentionally. So let's type in the administrator account and then password. Now this time this machine should join with the domain controller. Look at this. So click on OK. Let's not restart this. I wanted to show you one more thing. So if in case of domain join issue, so suppose you are unable to join the machine with the domain controller. So that one log which I uh, showed you, you have to refer the net setup logs. And a part of that, how you can check the other way around. When I'm saying other way around means what else you can check. So type in the CMD. Before joining the machine, you make sure that this machine is reaching to your main domain controller or the domain controller wherever you wanted to join the machine. So I type in the IP address of my main domain controller, which is this. Okay, I'll, 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 verify, I'll, I'll show you the IP address of this machine. If I go here, if I go here, IP config. So you can see this is my domain controller IP address. Else you can do one thing if you don't know the IP address of the domain controller. So you simply type ping and then type the FQDN of your domain controller which in, in our case, in mine case, this is contoso.com. So you can see here, right? So you can see like your domain controller is reachable from this machine. And what else you can do? So there is a one a great uh, ingredient in integrated command tool which is nl test slash ds get dc and then colon then your domain controller name i mean the fqdn name okay type in so this command is used for the dc discovery every time when you start your machine when you access the share share when you access the web services this process is always carried out in each and every uh, each e in each and every time okay when i'm saying in each and every time suppose this machine is refreshing the group policy right just like uh, you typing the gp update slash group gp update space slash force so this command is to update the group policy forcefully okay Suppose you did some changes in your domain controller and that changes is not being applied to this machine. So you can run the GP update slash force to refresh your policies okay, and apply to this machine. So when I click on the group policy update force, so in the back end, what happened is like in the back end, this machine will this machine will run the DC discovery, look for the nearest domain controller in the environment and then check for the attribute, the GP link attribute. There, there are two attributes for the group policy that I will be covering the group policy uh, session. So for now, it is good to know like what this command does and how this DC discovery works though i would be covering the dc discovery in separate session so you don't worry i would be helping you with the entire flow of the dc discovery so before joining to the domain controller you always make sure that your machine is 
discoverable your domain controller is discoverable in the environment your domain connectivity is fine and then go and try to join the machine with the domain controller if even though you are getting the same error or the different error means even although you are having the good connectivity with this machine to the domain controller your dc discovery is working fine and and you know you know there is no as such uh, issue with the connectivity with the connectivity with the domain controller but even though you are getting the error so in the in in those scenario the locks which i showed you the debug label lock go to windows and then go to debug and then net state net setup this is the lock that you can refer for a better understanding or for a for a specific for a specific error message that you're getting while joining the machine to the domain controller you pick the error from here and search for the appropriate answer so your approach would be like this uh, always keep in your mind like whenever you are doing any troubleshooting in the active directory since i don't know about the other technology but it should be applicable for other technologies as well always start from the basic when i'm saying basic means if you're getting the error while joining the domain you suppose not to directly jump into this debug level logging debug analysis you suppose to check your basic thing first when i'm saying basic thing first check for the uh, reachability of this machine to the domain controller in the environment check for the dc discovery of this machine to the environment and then go to the logging and dig into it and look for the appropriate error message under the net setup so thank you very much for your time once again thanks for coming to this channel so in the next session today itself i would be covering the metadata cleanup in which i show you like what i would be doing and what i will be covering in the next session so let me demonstrate you real quick so this is a kind of mine forest which is contoso.com which is conto contoso.com okay so hope you all are familiar with this name now so i got the same environment i got one dc which is server 2008 server 2012 r2 it's 12 it's 12 r2 okay which means server 2012 r2 so it's a short form 12 r2 and the another machine which i got is server 2008 r2 so it's 2 2k8 we called in short 2k8 for the server 2008 r2 or for the server 2008 okay so what we are going what we would be covering in the next session like i will promote this domain controller first i will promote this machine as a domain controller first and then i will shut down this machine in the vm and then i will show you the error the kind of error we would be getting in the replication rep admin space slash ripple sum ripple summary okay so i would be showing you the error which will be reported after the server 2008 is completely down and then i would be carry carried out the metadata cleanup the first the, there are two way of doing metadata cleanup the first one itself is from gui and the second one is from the command okay so i would be covering these two concept do these two ways so that it will be a kind of helpful uh, in your environment if you get that kind of scenario or you meet that uh, that kind of scenario in the environment so thank you very much once again if you are new to this channel 
I would uh, uh, kind of encourage you to go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this channel and share this channel with someone who really needs your help and uh, and wants to in scale up in the Active Directory. Thank you once again and uh, uh, have a great day ahead, guys. Cheers. And if you have any sort of sort of uh, question, query, or any clarification that you want or any doubt that you have, so uh, note down my email address, which is sing. It's sing v i v e k vivek. Oh, sorry. So there is a space vivek numeric eight three one at gmail.com so either you type your query in the comment section or email me on my email address which is singvivek831 at the, at the red gmail.com so as and when i get some time i will explain or put the justification or the appropriate answer for you guys so that uh, i mean you would be clear with your doubts Thank you once again and uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel so that uh, as and when I'll upload the another video, another session, you would be notified for that. Okay. So have a great day ahead guys. Take care of yourself and your family members. Cheers. Thank you.